Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. So this is two different versions of this Swedish folk song, and so we can see what Tommy decided to do with it, but this way you guys can watch them back to back if you want to in the same video, and uh, I, I thought they were both really good. Let me know what you guys think, I hope you enjoy them, and I'll see you on the next one. An artist named Tommy Johansson recently did a cover of this track. I love that he finds this stuff, or is knows about this stuff probably already, I would assume, <laughs> that I've never heard of. And so it's a nice way to introduce me and maybe others to new music. So I did do a little bit of looking up on this track. It's written by Johann Sebastian Bach and it's a Swedish folk song. So I am intrigued because uh, I like folk music. So I, I think this is gonna be cool. Anyway, the version I found here is by Sarek, and so this will give me a little bit of background to the track, and then I'll jump into Tommy's metal version, and it's, it's just fun to see what he decides to do with tracks and where he goes with it. So, let's check this one out first. So drink my Vendrix Sol and off to day is the end. So drink my Vendrix Sol and off to day is the end. Look out from the sky, the sky is glad to be close to you. instruments the harmonizing was wonderful and yeah it sounds like a traditional folk tune and so we'll see what he does with it. I think I heard some synthesizers in there and I'm wondering if Tommy keeps those around or gets rid of them obviously this is just a rendition of it as well so there's other versions you can find and uh, maybe there's other ones out there I thought that was really good though I really did think the harmonizing brought something to it really beautiful voices and some cool instruments in the mix there so I think I heard a dulcimer and some, and some neat stuff so let's see let's see what he did and I hope you guys enjoyed that I think it's a cool little track so 
I did just do a reaction to this track. I wanted to familiarize myself with it before jumping in to hear Tommy do it, so that way I could know what he added to, or I guess possibly detracted from, <laughs> uh, and different versions. So uh, I doubt he detracted from it, but let's find out. And if so, we will we will scold him for messing up this folk song. So the song is called Nugranskar Det. I probably should have, I probably mucked that up pretty bad. So I detracted from the title. <laughs> let's check it out. was a good film crew. It was a fun video. All right, so what's better than one Tommy? A whole bunch of Tommies. <laughs> it makes the songs all way better. <laughs> so I thought it was cool. I thought he kept the charm to the track while adding his own element of electricity, <laughs> amongst other things. Wonderful voice. He has such a strong, strong presence in the way he sings. My concern was in the first version that I heard, I w we would lose a little bit of something because they harmonize so beautifully. I don't think it did lose anything, though. I, I really think he has such a powerful, robust uh, sound that it, it didn't. It, it was just a really fun track. Uh, well, he was like, all the little Tommies running across the lawn. I kind of thought of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys 
will go there with me or not, but hey, you know, it's, it's a good movie, so. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for introducing me to this track. It'd be interesting if you guys have any stories or comments here. Is, is this something played like super regularly in Sweden? It reminded me a little bit, we go to Renaissance fairs, my girlfriend and I every now and then, and it reminded me of something I would hear at one of those Ren fairs, uh, but it's always nice to know if this is something that's played for a special event or something. So I could look it up myself, but it's always nice to hear from you guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. And thank you. <laughs>